So the day started out with me and Ruger running a couple hours down south to pick up some Unistrut, some welding rod, and some other materials that we found on uh, the internet for about half the price of what it would be retail. I was able to get most of the well casing here at the local scrap yard for about 20 cents a pound instead of paying the five or six dollars a foot that it would normally cost for full lengths of pipe. But now I've got to weld everything together. It probably would have been straighter, a little bit more true if I'd bought the full lengths, but that's not my style. I put a full material list and how I used it later on in the video. I've been thinking about building my solar panel mounts this way for about two years. Now this is the upright. I just painted it with some basement tar that I happened to have laying around, let it dry. It's well casing, it's very durable, very tough pipe, but I need to do what I can to protect it from the elements. Initially, I was gonna go rent a 12 inch auger, but this dirt is so hard, I worried that I wasn't gonna be able to get the auger down through the dirt, which has happened in the past. So now that I have water, I just use that water to my ability and spend a couple of hours digging down through the dirt about four and a half feet deep. Once this dirt gets wet and packed down, it is so hard. We have the beautiful topsoil for about the top 18 to 20 inches, but then below that, I'm not sure what it is, but it's very difficult to break through. After getting the upright post set and letting it sit for a while, it was now time to install the horizontal mount. Now again, without the excavator, this would be a lot more difficult. As much as I love my backhoe, my backhoe could not come up this hill. I welded the chain on the ends of the horizontal pipe to use as a tie to the ground. I think I've since changed my mind and decided to use guy wire and tie it to the actual unistrut itself. But I figured while I had it down at the bottom I would weld it on there. I'm measuring and marking the unistrut at exactly five feet. This shows me where I can put the U-bolts and make sure that they're all in the exact same position. Now again, I've been thinking about this for so long that I basically got it all laid out in my head and I was fairly confident it would go together pretty fast. My biggest concerns is making sure that I've got it set at the right angle so I don't have to adjust it too many more times. The Suniva 275 watt solar panels weigh about 60 pounds a piece. I'll have a total of around 550 to 600 pounds hanging off this pipe. I needed to make sure it was sturdy and stout. And I think I've since decided to reinforce the horizontal pipe in a way that I chose not to on this first one. I built the first one without building the second two because I was sure there would be some minor changes. The bracing is so far really the only change I want to make. So 
So I'm going to do bracing from here up to here on both sides. And then on, on every corner, I left the unistrut down there. I'm going to also put some sort of a stabilizer with some guy wire or something like that. Every corner I'm going to do that just to be safe. Every once in a while we get some howling winds up through here. I tried to leave a gap in the panels to uh, help with the wind a little bit. And I think I'm going to put a piece, a 20 foot piece of uh, unistrut across the bottom and across the top just to make one big piece. But the ground was so hard and everything was uh, packed so well around it that the, the top part moves a little bit, but the bottom doesn't. Um, the, I put a big uh, set bolt on the front of it to try and lock it down. Um, but I'm really happy with the way it turned out. So for the most part, it's all three and a half inch well casing. And rather than paying five or six dollars a foot, I bought the scrap pieces and, and paid it by the pound. And what I figured out was when I cut the bell, that's the, the th thread protector, the coupling that's on the pipe. When I cut that off, I figured out that the bell fits perfectly up in there. The pipe itself is a little bit sloppy, but the bell, the, the threaded part is really tight. So what I did is I made the, the post, the upright, I made sure the top of the bell was closest to the very top of the pipe. So where I used the four inch for the sleeve, it fit perfectly and it adjusts perfectly and it's not sloppy at all, especially once I use that, uh, that set bolt. So this is the four inch well casing that I used for a sleeve. I used about a two foot piece, a two foot, two foot piece on that set of panels. I coped it to where it fit perfectly against the three and a half inch pipe and just burned it in really well, made sure it was square. And then the horizontal support beam for the, to have nine panels, nine 275 watt panels. I needed to be 16 feet, four inches wide and then the unistrut is 10 feet wide and my panels only required nine feet, nine inches. So I'll have to trim the top off. I turned the welder up good and hot. I made sure I got the right welding rod and burned that in as, as best as I could. And like I said, I couldn't be happier with how it turned out. These are the three and a half inch U-bolts that I used. These fit perfectly over the pipe. They're really important. It's really important to have that strap on the top as you tighten it so it doesn't open up and it, and it stabilizes the unistrut when you tighten down on it. This is the unistrut that I used. Um, it's, I think it's inch and three quarter. It's heavy duty. I think each piece of unistrut weighs probably 12, 14 pounds. I've got six pieces of unistrut. Each one of those panels weighs about 60 pounds. And so I've got, you know, five to 600 pounds sitting on top of that. Well pipe actually has a tensile to it, a high tensile to it. You have to, you know, it's best to arc weld it and you got to have a good hot arc welder for it. Um, so there is a little bit of a bend in that support, uh, the horizontal support. And so I may brace the next two that I build. I may even come back and brace that one. But there's part of me that is surprised how well and how easily this went together. So I can't wait to build the next two. So in theory, I shouldn't have to move, once I find uh, due south, I shouldn't have to move the solar panels around that much. Um, so I almost didn't make it adjustable that way. Um, but I like that it's adjustable. There's actually some people that think that southwest might be as effective as south when it comes to setting your solar panels. Because I have this hill, uh, because we're kind of playing with this, we're going to have to play with it for the first couple of years. I wanted it to be completely adjustable. Um, I'd never seen an adjustable ground mount system that was affordable on my end. Uh, there's some great systems out there, but uh, most uh, guys that I see building ground mount uh, setups are using um, you know, pressure treated lumber and I didn't like that idea. So I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Now that I've got this one built, I'm going to build two more right here. And I'm trying to hide them behind the house so when you pull up you don't see them first. But I also have to make sure that I'm capitalizing on that direct sunlight. Um, anyway, I, I, 
for as little time and money I have tied up in this, I'll end up maybe having 150 bucks per mount, uh, per, yeah, so, so I have probably a total of about 450 to $500 tied up in it between three mounts. And so that to me is, um, I'm okay with that. Um, Monday, I'll get back up here, get that finished. I have all the parts to get the well back up to uh, 100%. Um, I didn't have time to get that done today. And then the weather drops about 10 degrees next week and I'm gonna get the concrete poured next week. But I'm really happy. I've been thinking about the, the uh, solar panels for probably a year and a half. I wanted to do an adjustable ground mount system and I knew there was a way I could do it that was affordable, that was durable, that has to hold up. And like I said, I'm really happy with the way this turned out.